episode 69 of Anime and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime from A to Z. Sort of. All right, guys. So uh, last episode, we got I, category I, for Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? For some reason, I thought it was Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? So did I. Maybe it's uh, spelled differently, depending on where you're doing it. I don't know. Or we just shortened it. All I know is that that title is completely wrong. (laughs) Wow. And that never once did he try to pick up a girl in a dungeon. Well, no. They they all just threw himself at him. It's a fair. Well, that's fair. This is a completely misleading title. Well, you know who's not throwing himself at him is the one girl he's interested in. (laughs) Of course. Right. Well, she <laughs> she seems to like him though. She does see. She seems to take a shine to him. Yes, is what it seems. Yes. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, um, I didn't read the wiki out of time. Yeah, that's why I said go ahead. <laughs> that's why I stopped. <laughs> the uh, two manga adaptions apparently were uh, made into an anime, and it aired in 2015. And I remember watching. We talked about this last, the end of the last episode. I watched an episode, and it didn't really click for me. Right. And it definitely isn't something I would have watched. Watching now the whole first season, mm. didn't like it as much as I want to like it. So I'm happy I didn't watch it then, because I would have been really pissed having to watch it twice. Right. <laughs> gotcha. But it's not terrible. I mean, uh, it's not terrible. Before we die, before I don't, I want to get it all out of the way before we dive into it, because I have a lot to say. So what's the premise? Uh, pretty much D and D world. You know what I mean? It, there's guilds and there's heroes and uh, there's. I think D world's kind of well. Accurate. Well. It is a D&D world. It's just a shitty adaption of it. No, well, I, I, it felt more like video game world to me. Well, that works. That definitely works. Yeah, it does definitely... I mean... Because the D&D world implies you're going from, like, cities and different places and having different adventures. But that's one... I guess it kind of depends on your version of D&D. Because you could, very well could just be a local... Yeah, it could be I mean? a local thing. But even then, it's within... It's, like, a urban set. And this one's more like a video game with, that has one town. You just as far keep, as we know, anyway. One, one city, that's it. Yeah, one city. And you just go into the same dungeon over and over and over. Again. Yeah. There's a couple of video games that I played that were like that. Like there's this game back on PlayStation One called As Your Dreams that it reminded me a lot of because yeah. it's just in you're in this city and you, you know, there's only one dungeon you constantly go in and the idea is to get as far as you can in the dungeon and then build different yeah. build different buildings in the city and make a relationships with the people you're with and stuff like that. Because I, w- I was kind of thinking of them as heroes, but then if if you really like watch it, they're not. They're just they just go to a dungeon to clear it out and make money and get yeah. items. And like they're not saving people from anything. No, it's not. A, it, they're more of adventurers than hero, yeah. hero, heroes. Yeah, that makes sense. Adventure sponsored by fallen gods, apparently. Yeah. So if you want to be in a guild and to go into the dungeon, you got to be a guild member. It's the only way you can level up. I guess, I think um, because you get this no. tattoo on your back. They don't really talk about no, no, no. What the I, intricacies of it. And how what it actually I under- works. Yeah, they don't explain it. But from what I understand is you can level up based by yourself. But the only way you can find out what your level is or anything or your stats are is by having a god. I see I kind of took it as you get experience from fighting and the god goddess so like at the end of the, the day you went and you did your plunder and mm-hmm. you come back and the goddess gives you a little back massage pretty much and she prints out your your new stats on this piece of paper. I was taking it as you don't get your stat boost until she does that because no. they kind of implied that a little bit. Like, she went away for a, a certain amount of time and came back, and they did it, and she's like, wow, it went up so high. I would I would agree with you, except there was one episode where she said, I'm not going to give you a paper today, I'm just going to tell that's you. That's fair. Tell you. So that's so my impression was that they level yeah. up no matter what. You just don't find out unless you're in a guild and have a god what, what if they don't level up at all unless you have a goddess? You know what I mean? We don't know that. He's Which, in a guild. That's very possible, too. I have no idea. They didn't explain that. Yeah, they didn't. Either because he's got this weird tattoo on his back that has strength and dex and right. the skills he has. That's uh, weird. Well, it's a character sheet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a character sheet, a, essentially. Yeah. I assume you only get that if you have a, a familia, is what they call it. You, I mean, I goddess. guess. Or unless the, everyone has a back tattoo and other yeah, people. Yeah, that's weird, though. Everyone just has a back tattoo. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Or maybe the back tattoo is always there and it's only revealed when a goddess does that. That kind of makes sense, yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. They don't explain any of that crap. Which would be good lore. Like, that would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, although, I will say, they should have just scrapped the whole video game thing. Well, I- I mean, if you still have the same premise, but get rid of Dex and Strength and all the characters. I'd be okay, I'd, I'd be okay with it if they went all in on it and they didn't. They, they dipped their toe in it. Right. If you went all in and, like, there were uh, trainers, you could go and learn certain skills. It like, just, if they really went into it, they would be cool. Like, I, it's anime. It's a cartoon. So you go in suspended in your disbelief. <laughs> 
But unless this is a like a dot hack or sort of online where you're going in and that's part mm-hmm. of the world, I really couldn't get past the fact that there was levels and strength and depth. yeah, they just never gave a reason for it. Even if they would have gave a reason for it though and explained it further, I it, I wouldn't have been able to get into it because I just couldn't get past it. It was too meta for me. Yeah, it was pretty meta for sure. But that's not even the worst part of the show. That, that's just anyway, that's was... that's that was just the technical <laughs> technical aspects. Well, you did you did the premise? It was not really. I mean. So, like, there's the heroes, or the... the Adventurers. Adventurers, that if you want to be one, you got to be in the guild, and, you know, the head of the guild is the goddess. Well, but there's, like, one tower in the city, Mm -hmm. and... I think you go down into the dungeon and you go up into shops. I think that's what that's that is. what that will look like. Yeah, that's definitely they didn't explain it very well. They don't explain anything real well. In that's this. the only thing. That's that what makes, it looks like. That's the only way it really makes sense. Because that's the tower will be like ten million stories high. And our our main guy, Bell. Bell. I think his name was Bell. Bell. He couldn't find a, a familiar to take him, a goddess. Right, right, right. And then he comes across this goddess that doesn't have anyone, and they kind of like a perfect pair for each other. It's, yeah, I mean, so the, the the gods and goddesses are taken from all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like the Norse. Norse, Egyptian, Greek. So it don't you go. You're you got the elephant from a an issue from yeah. Indian culture. Uh, so it, it, they change genders for some of them. Loki's and a dude. Loki, no, yeah, Loki's a or girl. Chick, Chick, Loki's sorry. a girl, and it's Hephaestus is a girl, and this. So I mean, they just change it for fan service reasons. Yeah, it's whatever. So, um, but so like it, it's but the whole thing is they used to use them for name recognition. Those yeah. characters, there was like no, Loki didn't even seem like a trickster. Right. No, there was no reason for any of them. Like the main goddess and of the main characters, Hestia, and she's like fawning over him. You know how that how these <laughs> anime girls do it. But she's supposed to be the goddess of virginity and and you know stuff like that. It's it just make it just you can't go into this. Thinking, oh yeah, you can't go too deep. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no depth to it at all. But in anyway, with all that being said, there were some good ideas. There were some this. good. I, some, I'd, I'd even I'd say great ideas because I like the right. whole dungeon right. level. There were some. Yeah, I like there were some moments where I was really drawn into this show. Mm-hmm. Like I really liked. There was a two part episode where they were being they're in the dungeon and they're fighting hellhounds and they're getting their ass yeah. kicked. It reminded us of one of our D and D sessions. Yeah. That it was one of our best ones, and it reminded me a lot of that, and I was really into it. And then, you know, this is this show really pissed me off, and I realized these are the type of anime that are the worst ones, because the Ichi... Oh, yeah. It, well, again, I've said this before, it's part of the anime. No, no, I'm, let me get to it. The Ichi combined with the harem... Oh, yeah, it's a bit much. It's too much... And it gets a, in the way of the storytelling. It's just, mm-hmm. if they took out all the Ichi stuff and all the harem stuff, or just focused on one or the other... It would make a better story for an American would, audience. Right, and because there were some really, really solid ideas in There's here. some great ideas for it. And, and but, they didn't focus on it because they're too busy showing tits. But that... That is a story element in Japan for anime. No, you know what I, I mean? get that. Like that's if you're if you're really into Ichi and the harem, like that's what you look for. This is this is great for you if that's what you're into. Right. We're I, not. I got. I we get, want a good story. I get that point of it, but they could have applied Ichi to harem to anything. It sounds like they had some good writers here that could have focused on something good and just wrote something decent instead of falling into the same stereotypes <laughs> and the crap. Now, you say that, yeah, this is part of the story, Ichi, and part but of the harem. Is, like, that is the story, but not I, even I, part of it. You I, know I, mean? I got you, but at the same time... Everything else is side stuff. Like, for th- us, the story is the main thing, and Ichi is the side no, stuff. It's the reverse. I, I, I get you. I understand there's a uh, an audience for that, and it's probably a huge audience audience for it but at the same time it just you, you can't give me pieces of a story <laughs> here and then shift over to here and have the best of both worlds mm. it just doesn't work you, if you're going to make an ichi harem make a freaking ichi harem don't try and fit in story elements it just because it's just gonna uh, alienate all audiences all except for the people that just want tits well that keeps them interested they but, got the tits and then the rest of it sort of keeps them interested you say that but if they want tits it's japan go watch a Hentai. But hentai still have a story. Some Not do. That I know that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I Apparently, some do. <laughs> I don't think they do. I think mean, I don't think they have a lo- long running, like you know, two seasons, three seasons. Of story, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll, I'll actually look it up. This you week. might be able to find one, like I think, like Bible Black or something. 
But that's it. Like, it's not a thing. I will look it up this week. I will take that dive into Huntai and see if there's a yeah, story Yeah, you'll take that bite bullet. You'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll bear that cross. I've never seen a Huntai. I've never even... I have never heard of it until you brought it up. I brought it up? For yeah, in this Adam, and this in this review. I didn't oh, know what... The, I had no idea what You had it no was. idea what cartoon porn was? Well, I knew what car- there was obviously cartoon porn. I didn't know of the term. The word, okay. Or no, that's fair. The, the term or the Japanese culture behind it or any of that. I had no... I didn't even know what Ichi was until you explained it to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna dive into it and find out. All right, go ahead. I will. See, like, look at the top rated ones. I guess. Oh God. And I'm. I'm not gonna watch. I'm gonna. Re- well, you gotta watch them. I'm gonna. Re- you gotta see story synopsis. Yeah. And stuff. Th- yeah, but that's obviously so. Like, if you read right, a story synopsis fine. for this, for instance, fine. I'll watch. My, a f- my reasoning is, if you read a story synopsis for this, it's awesome, right? Mm-hmm. Depending on which one you read, it's great. Okay. It's a perfect story. Fair. Fair. <laughs> and it's not. It so isn't. It's that's fair. <laughs> I'll tell Get down you. the rabbit hole, literally and figuratively. <laughs> I will. I I will watch a hunt. Eye. Oh Christ! Hey. <laughs> It'll be a special episode. I I, I will review a hunt eye on here. How about that? <laughs> Uh, well, what we should do, if we're going to do this, god damn it, you, we should get a couple of them, like the top rated ones, and then spin it, because that's I, our gimmick. All right, yeah. I'll look it up. I'll, I'll look up something. And we'll something. do it at the end of the, the, the alphabet. And we'll do it as a special episode. You know what we'll do? We're close. God we'll do it. it for 100th episode. Oh, Christ. How about that? I, that's a deal. We'll do it for 100th episode I, and see I, how... I would shake your hand, but yeah, no, not, not for this no, topic. No. <laughs> that's what we'll do. Just to see. Just to see, just oh, to prove man. this. This is all over an argument, by the way. That's not... <laughs> Jesus Christ, so cringy. I know. <laughs> anyway, back to the anime. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's the premise, and it, twelve episodes, right? Yes. Did you watch the OVA? Yes, I did watch the OVA. I just I I didn't go beyond the OVA. Yeah, did I? But I well, saw. You know, I went one episode past. I watched the first episode of the second season. Eh. No, I I only watched the OVA because I knew it had nothing. To... I had to deal with anything because just OVA is never really just because of the title. It was a hot spring episode, and of course, it was a hot spring episode. In my experience, OVAs seem to be, at least from what I gather, like filler. Yeah, and I they're think, never really a part of the and story. And I figured the, uh, every OVA that we really watch seems to take place somewhere in the middle in the story. Of, yeah. In the story, yeah. middle yeah. Of season, like this OVA like, takes place on the way out of the last. Uh, part of the, st- the story arc. Right. So they, it's, they're leaving the dungeon and like, oh, look, a hunt spring. Yeah, yeah, so it takes like place just before the ending of the first season, essentially. Mm. So, so I, yeah, I, was, <laughs> I just have overall complaints because within the story itself, like, there's really nothing to tell. It's a bunch of him going from girl to girl, being chased, essentially, and then him trying to be stronger, ignoring all these girls who like him, like every harem, mm-hmm. and him getting stronger and stronger and supposedly being a chosen one or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's because of the skill he has that she won't show him. Oh, no, you didn't catch the ending, did you? Well, before all that. But before all that, he has this skill that powers him up quickly. Yeah, but you know why he has that power in the first place? I forget. He's the son of Zeus. Uh, no, yeah, I didn't catch that. Yeah, at the end, they reveal he's the son of Zeus. How do they do that? Hermes. Uh, ex- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Explains yeah. he's the son the last, of Zeus. After, right after the last fight. Yeah, so it's like, oh, what a surprise. Mm, that's why Hermes was there. The- the only, really, the only reason why he went on that last little quest right. was to sort of be well, there I didn't understand that. Him. Hermes and Hestia the t- are two, good, two head of the guilds. And the guilds are not allowed in the dungeon. But they went in. And They're they also not allowed, the, the goddesses are also not allowed to use their powers. And yeah, Hestia did. Wait, isn't, was it Hermes a guy? Yeah. He, so he's the only guy goddess. Well, guy god, but yeah. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Well, get, get an issue, the elephant man. Well, do we know if he was a god? Or yeah. he was just wearing a mask? No, he was a god. Well, he was the head of the guild. Okay, so there are some guys. In there. Yeah. For some reason, few. most of them, ninety nine percent of them are women, though. There's, there's You're gonna a make reason. some of them men. That's weird. There's, there's, make them, just make them. There's what they a are. reason they want as much tits as they can get in this. Well, the, which is fair, right? But like, why make those two men? Because they need to get some fan service for the girls in there. <laughs> Because Ganeshu has never wears a shirt; it's all muscly. Yeah, yeah. And then Hermes is setting up plot points for uh, the guys. Yeah, and Hermes is the per- pervert. The reason why you know they get to look at naked girls. Yeah. So they have to set up those the hot spring. Yeah, they have to set up those characters so they could do those tropes. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. It's a special anime. It, it's it's something. And it's, like I said, it's really infuriating because there's some good story elements in it. Yeah, it's, it's, for me, it's, I've seen Grimgar, Fantasy, and Ash, and that's a great D&D adventurer, hero-type, dungeon, 
monster crawler type anime. It's fantastic. I, I would I would say it's off of memory. It's a ten out of ten. It's it's great. There's no, I didn't have any complaints about it. And it's this is that, but like ten percent of that, <laughs> and the rest of it's bullshit. Because yeah, there's some good <laughs> things in it. I mean. This also reminds me of Goblin Slayer, very similar animes, but again, only 10% of that. Right. Like, like, he goes in and he needs to have a supporter. Yeah. And it's this... A prune? Pre? Something like that. I don't know. It's, it's essentially... It's a certain race. It's a certain race. She's kind of a shapeshifter, and she's, like, up to his waist or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, Carries uh, a it's, gigantic backpack. Yeah, that's it's, not cliche. It's the lolly character, the typical lolly character mm-hmm. in, this, in these things. But it, that doesn't... <laughs> but, you know, she betrays him at one point, and then he comes and saves her at the end. And the whole end credits is just her going off on a speech about why are you doing this. And it was actually a really good speech. Yeah, it wasn't. It was. It was fine because you know she's probably been burned a bunch in the past right. and all that jazz. I mean, the, but like it was just generic main character. I'm gonna save you. Yeah, that was it. But he, he, his motivations was stupid. But her complexity and her character was really interesting. Yeah, her, hers was fine. That's and so there's some really good writing in here, which is frustrating when it's so bogged down by the blandness of the main character because he's really bland. He's the typical shonen character. Typical shonen. He's anime. Goku. He's yeah. He's, he's a blank slate. He just gets stronger. Yeah, he's just that. He's oblivious to women. It's it's super generic. Except for the one he's interested in, but he's too chicken shit to do anything. He just wants to get stronger. But she's kind so of. She'll recognize him. She's she's kind of always in, always into him though. She's oh, just, like, yeah, like I said, interest. Like yeah. I said earlier, like she but wants she, at c- certain points she trains him and helps him out a little bit. She's reserved. Life. She's very reserved and conservative in her uh, approach to approach to him, but. At the same time, she's like, it seems like when other girls start talking to him, she gets a little jealous here and there. Like, oh, yeah, a tiny bit. So it's like, it's you see it's there, but it's, I don't like talking about the harem stuff because it pisses me off so much. <laughs> it's so annoying. There's just a lot of it's, unneeded, you know, angles and right. shirts coming off and like the hot spring episode, two hot spring episodes. There's one uh, a little more than halfway through and then the OVA is a hot spring episode. Yeah. They revisit it on the way out. Of, of the course dungeon. they did because there's never an anime without a hot spring episode. <laughs> <laughs> I told I you. I don't think there's ever. I don't know. We've seen we, quite a few actually, but uh, well. once we hit the first one, which was probably halfway through the first list we did, it's been like all the time. It, it's it's so bad the hot spring trope that even the Legend of the Moby Dick had one. And it had all guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, except for Lucky. But she didn't get she didn't get stripped down or anything. She was in clothes. Yeah. Thank God. It was just trying. all the guys. So it was like even that one had hot springs, and it's just like why? What's the point of it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to go to hot spring though. <laughs> Not for all that, but it would be. It'd be it sounds like it'd be fun. Go relax in a nice hot, salty pool. I'd be down for that. Ah, uh, sounds boring to me. Come on, you don't like saunas? You ever been in a sauna? No, saunas are great. Oh my god, you feel so good afterwards. Mm. Your body feels lighter. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was an awful, on a weird tangent. Okay, there's not a whole lot. There's no depth to this. No, it's not. If you like boobs, if you like the story arc is him just getting stronger incrementally. You know what I mean? That that's really it. Yeah, I mean, there's some like we he said. gets another skill at some point that in a pinch, like if he's a, if the odds are against him, he, his stats he gets not a, not a stat boost, but he gets like one really strong strike. I mean, there's a pretty decent boss battle at the end. Yeah, which. But it just felt like fluff. I mean... It was a big monster. You know what the, the big boss battle at the end, the monster thing, reminded me of a titan. From that's what I was wanting to bring up. All the boss monsters and it seems like titans from Attack yeah. on Titans. And it's really weird. So, because they're all just giant people. And while there's little, mo- all the other monsters are little and like D&D monsters and stuff. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, there's like kobolds and hellhounds. And- yeah, and ants for some reason. Yeah. There's a lot of ants. A lot of weird bugs. Yeah. Yeah, and then, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't good. Yeah, we're struggling with this. I one. mean, there's a couple f- plot hooks for like the second season. You know what I mean? But other than that, I, I, but here's the thing: watching it, I never wanted to watch the next episode. Like, I didn't feel a need to watch it. Yeah, but I didn't feel like I was. It was a chore to watch it. Either. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it was um, like it was I, okay to watch. You could it, just put it on. I was it. just like, it wasn't like, oh no, I got twelve episodes to get through. I got to get through this. So, like, I watched the first episode. Okay, let's watch the next one. Mm-hmm. It was like it left off on kind of a cliffhanger, and I had no interest. And going into it, but I could, I was like, yeah. I wouldn't mind going into the next one either. Yeah, watching the second season won't be a bore. Right. The first episode was weird, but other than that, it was just setting up for the second season. Right. So I mean, it's kind, it's it's got a lot of bad to it, and it's it's like you were saying earlier, these ones are the most frustrating because it could be good. Yeah, it could be really good, and we had a few of those throughout this show, and it's just like. It gets, and it's just, it, this one really cemented. Those are the worst ones. The one that have the potential to be good. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, just get a better editor. 
Mm-hmm. At this point, you guys could have had some... You know, you know what, what sucks is, like, you can have the titties in there. You can have all that Ichi harem stuff and still have a good story. Right. They just, because they're focusing on that, they're kind of leaving the rest of it to the right. wayside. It, Which, again, if you're in Japan and that's what you're into, like, that's fine, but most audiences aren't. But it gets, just gets in the way. It, uh, those plot yeah. points get in the way. So, yeah, I guess we're, we're really stretching here. But, uh, I'd say a score is, like, a middle... As middle of the road as it could be. Yeah, it's a five. It's a five. Maybe a four. Maybe, yeah, maybe a little less. Maybe a four if you really hate the stuff, and maybe a six if you really like the yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, if you like... If, you re- if you're really into watching titties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's but a like I said, even, even it could be better with it though. Like it's not even right. over the top. Ichi but and Harem. That's what, that's what I don't get about Ichi. Just go watch a Hunt Oh, well, you know, sometimes it's uh, leave a mystery, right? I guess. But I'm sure. <laughs> What's hunt- under the the foggy smoke in the hospital? I'm train sure there's just your tits I'm sure there's soft cord Hunt <laughs> This is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, so, uh, no, Queen's, Queen's Blade is it. Sure, yeah. Uh, what were the last one? Joker Game and... Juby Chan. Joker Game, Joker yes. Game. Juby Chan. No. Really? You'd rather watch Juby Chan over this? I'd watch this. No, you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh my god. I, wanted, I wonder what we scored Juby Chan. <laughs> I wanted to... I wanted to... I want to give this that bad record just because it pissed me off so much. That's true. I, I feel you there, but man, I hate it. But Juby Chan... Juby Chan uh, I'm thinking about it, and, Ooh, there's, and it. there's a second season. Uh, yeah, no, I, I can't. It, you know, this one's second. All right, guys. So we're gonna be spinning the wheel for yeah, our next episode. Spin and see what category J. Let's uh, spin so we can get which Juby Which is Chan. a pretty small. Yeah, Juby Chan has a second season. It's pretty small. Uh, uh, I don't know what this is. Juni Tyson Zodiac War. Juni Tyson Zodiac War. Let's find out. Give me just a moment, guys. Oh, well, that's my. Oh, well, it's twelve episodes. That was my uh, gate falling over. It just has an action tag, which seems yeah. interesting. Oh yeah, th- that's the only genre that's tagged in it. Uh, yeah. Twelve warriors who are burdened with the names of the twelve Chinese zodiac members fight with each other's lives and pride at stake, all to grant just one wish. That reminds me of a uh, Highlander. Well, y- <laughs> do you get a wish at the end of Highlander? I thought you just I... you just the strongest one. You well, he forever. kind of he kind of reshaped the world at the end of Highlander. I did, what is he like? Obtain power. He became gains all knowledge and shit. Oh, okay, that's weird. Uh, no, it reminds me of Fate, Fate Stay Night, Fate Zero, all that. I never saw it. It's the it's a it's like an eight eight season anime series at this point, and they're all sort of next to each other. It's not really season one, season two, uh-huh. season three. But um, essentially, you're a magician and you you summon a hero from the past, and that hero fights for you in a war. And if they win, you get wishes. Oh, so it, it reminds me a whole lot of that. Except from the very small description, it doesn't seem like anyone's being summoned. You know what I mean? They're I wonder just if there. it's I wonder if it's more of a battle royale. Yeah, I think that's what it might be. Guess we'll find out next. Or because it doesn't say tournament. It does not say tournament, and it, I think that's a tag. Well, it, you know, there's, there there would probably be other tags in here. I, I'm assuming whoever uploaded it just clicked action. You know what I mean? It's possible. That you could probably tag in a couple other things in this. I'm sure. All right. well, I think most you could. I were due for a good one, so maybe this will be good. I don't think it will be. No. Nah, I think it's gonna suck. But we'll find out. Jimmy right. Tyson, Zodiac War. All right, people. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.